Hi, my name's Sheldon Livesey, and I want to take just a few minutes to talk to you about two things. One is how God lets you know that something is very important to Him that sometimes we overlook. And secondly, how important it is to forgive other people. And this is the lesson God taught me. If we read in our Bibles, in Matthew 6, Jesus is teaching His disciples how to pray. And immediately following the Lord's Prayer in verses 14 and 15, Jesus says, If you forgive men of their trespasses against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. So we learn that God's forgiveness of us is sometimes conditional on us forgiving other people. And in verse 15, it goes on to say, but if you forgive not men of their trespasses, we assume against us, neither will your Father forgive you of your trespasses. Well, in America, we are so prone to rationalizing and justifying the reasons we do something. And especially the church crowd in America, we say, oh, but that brother hurt me. I'm just not associating with him. You've got differences, but you're not going to talk to him. Hey, that's not being hurt. That's unforgiveness. So how do we learn about that and how do we deal with it? And I want to explain that here in just a second. In Matthew 18, I want to tell you about one other incident where Peter, Jesus' disciple, comes to Jesus and he says, Master, how many times are we to forgive? Seven times? Because Jews understood that if they forgave you seven times and you didn't get things all solved at that time, that it was time then to to declare war, on, I guess, on each other. So Jesus replied, not a Jewish answer, but God's answer. He says, no. He says, you're to forgive 70 times 7. In other words, it's an unlimited number of times that you are to forgive. So with that in mind, I wanted to tell you about a time that I took my wife and we went to Orlando, Florida. We had some friends that lived down there and we stayed with them for a week and we went to a Bill Gothard seminar. They had known about this and they invited us down to go with them. It's a week-long event that you go and you learn different applications and principles of the Bible and how to apply those to your life. And they're all just very simple things. But one of the sessions was on forgiveness. And what Bill Gothard did was did basically the teachings that I did and he used uh, some testimonies and examples and then what he said was given us an opportunity that if the Holy Spirit would come and if we were open to this the Holy Spirit would show us somebody or people that we needed to go and actually tell them that we were wrong and that we ask forgiveness from them for whatever this was so anyway a, a, a person's name came to my mind but Oh, but they hurt me, and they don't even know that they hurt me. It's just that I hold a grudge against them. So, Lord, you surely don't mean them. And yet that mind kept, that name kept coming to me. Well, I went through all, I went through the prayer, everything that somebody else did. And during that time, I said, okay, Lord, if you really want me to tell that person that I was wrong for harboring unforgiveness, even though I don't, e they don't even know that they wronged me, they don't even know that I harbor that unforgiveness, then you just let them come to my house the day that I get home. You believe that? <laughs> That's what we do, isn't it? I was a young person at that time. So anyway, we went through this week and many things God corrected in my life that week, but we made our way back home. And guess what? I mean, it didn't matter that this guy had never been to my house. It didn't matter that uh, we didn't have communication on a regular basis. Why would he ever even think of coming to the house? But that's what I asked God. So we were unloading the car before I got the car unloaded. Guess who drives up in my driveway but this guy. And I had to stand there because I had told God that I would. And I had to say to him that I had wronged him by letting what I perceived something happening as being an offense, and I forgave him for that, and I just wanted him to be a friend of mine. 
and to forgive me. And, and he did, and we are good friends today. It's amazing how that's happened. This has happened several times in my life since then, but I try to be quick about responding. Now, you don't always do well. You can do well on one day, and then something happened on a second day. Let me tell you about another time, and this was several years later. We had started the ministry that I work with today. We have a food pantry, and our girls are, are uh, told, because they're volunteers that work in the food pantry, that if someone comes in and they're angry with them, if they use bad language, if they're on drugs or drunk, to come and call me because they're just volunteers, and I'm the one that's supposed to come and settle those things. So. A lady came to my office and she said that a gentleman was in her office and he was visibly very drunk, and he was. He wasn't a mean drunk, he just wanted to talk and he was happy and you couldn't converse with him and he, he wasn't getting the information across to us and it was aggravating to her, but I confronted this man and when he started this with me, sort of, then I got very angry at him and I was very unchristian towards him, very stern in what I said. And I said, you get off this property and don't you ever let me see you back on this property drunk again. And so I literally ran him out of the building and I went back to the office and I was not in the office just 10 seconds that the Holy Spirit deeply convicted me that I had not shown a Christian example to somebody that God might have sent that needed us at that time of his life. So I said, God, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know who that man is. I've never seen him before. It was the first time he had ever been here. And I said, if you ever let me see him again, I promise you, doesn't matter where he is, how many people's there, I'll ask him to forgive me for acting so badly in front of him. And so this was probably Wednesday or Friday, maybe Friday. Well, our family, and I still worked with the family business, our family owned a business and we sold products to our local grocery stores and restaurants. And I would go out on the weekends and take orders on Sunday afternoon. And on Monday, then our company would load those products and take to the store and I was out at one of my local grocery stores on a Sunday afternoon. I remembered in the middle of the afternoon it was it was busy. Every register was busy. So I walked in and as soon as I walked in, standing right in front of all of those people, right in the front lobby there of the grocery store, this man was just checking out coming to me. And I was able to look him in the eye and say, Sir, I treated you. I'm the one that talked to you at the food pantry uh, this week. And he says, I know who you are. And I said, I treated you so bad. I did not treat you like a Christian. I didn't show the love of Jesus to you. And that's what the ministry is all about. And I said, there's no excuse for me acting like I did. So I'm coming to you in front of all these people here and talk about, they stopped like E.F. Hutton was talking. And I said, would you please forgive me for treating you so badly? This is not how Jesus would have treated you if you had come and Jesus had been there this, this, uh, the day that you were in the ministry. And he did forgive me. And, and actually, we hugged right there in front of everybody. And I think one or two of them even clapped. But you feel so much better. You feel like this, this knotting that's on the inside of you just lets go and releases. And it's almost like a cloud of puffiness is on the inside of a good feeling that God gives us as we let go of those things sometimes by actually going to somebody. Now, let me tell you one little thing. Sometimes people do hurt you and they hurt you badly. And it's very difficult, I know, to to offer that forgiveness to begin with. So what you do is you go to Jesus and you tell him, I can't forgive that person on my own. You're going to have to help me. And then every time that situation comes to your mind, instead of letting anger and hate be there, in your heart and in your mind, you reply back to that thought, I love you in the name of Jesus. I love you. I forgive you in the name of Jesus. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you in Jesus' name. That, that thought might come many, many times a day to begin with maybe even for weeks, 
Sometimes, depending on how bad it is, it could be for months. But listen, friends, there will be a day that you get up in the morning and that thought is no more there and you feel at peace. There might even come a time that you can go to that individual and tell them that you forgive them. That's how God works, how the Holy Spirit works to apply principles that are very, very important to our lives into being practical, everyday ways that we live to show the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you for allowing me to share this with you today. God bless you and you have a great day.